people have asked me, so Tzvi, who do you who do you suggest to be the prime minister? If you really want to know, there's a person out there. His name is Gideon Sar. He is, uh, for those of you who are saying he's not experienced enough, or he's not old enough, first of all, he's in his mid-50s. He's about 55, 56 years old. The guy was the Inter Minister of Interior. He was the Minister of Education, which is what I'll get to. Um, he's been in politics, I think, for about 20 years, ladies and gentlemen. He's not a spring chicken. He's not a newbie, as we say. He's been there for a while. And it looks to me, the way he speaks, the way that he, the way he carries himself, that he is ready, right? And there's a few people, people both uh, in the Likud party and in the, uh, the parties that, you know, like uh, Blue and White and, and Yeshatid and, you know, Tell and all these other parties and Derek, Derek Eretz, those two guys that have basically expressed, and even Lieberman, that they would sit with him in a coalition. And there are people who would sit with him in a coalition who actually would not sit with Bibi in a coalition because it's personal. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're asking yourselves, why, do we, why did we have three elections and we're threatening to go to a fourth one? It's precisely this reason. It's got nothing to do with lefties, it has to do with Bibi and the fact that they just don't like him personally. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's, that's really all this is. So now we have a situation where what I just described to you, where we're basically trying to take uh, you know, our, our country, our society to something else, something that resembles you know, Jewish right? As opposed to just Israeli and secular Zionism, which is essentially dead, you know, as my friend was watching, you know, Cohen would say we're in a post, um, you know, we're in a post-Zionist uh, reality. That's what, that's what we're living in. We're in a post-Zionist reality. We're not in the reality anymore of Jabotinsky. We're not in the reality anymore of Herzl, uh, of all these people. We are in a post-Zionist reality. We're in a, we are in a reality where we're trying to merge what's happened over the last hundred years with the state of Israel and bring down Hashem and his Torah down here. Again, not Haredi, not theocracy, not Iran, but just us. We're trying to become ourselves. So how do we do that, right? So one thing we can do is say, I don't know, just an idea. Take Israeli school kids, secular kids in Tel Aviv on trips to places like, I don't know, Shiloh, or Har Grizim, or Beit El, or Hevron, right? Instead of like making news reports about Hebron and how like the people who live in Hebron are evil and bad, you know, the Jews and how it's a war zone and how it's this and how it's that. Ladies and gentlemen, like this is the cradle of our civilization. This is where Abraham and all these, Yitzhak and Yaakov and all these people are buried, you know, and, 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 and Leah, Rachel is not buried there. Leah is buried there. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, like w w what's up, you know, <laughs> again, what are we doing? And if we're not doing that, we're just, we're just, we're stagnant. We're si we're sitting in neutral as, as, a, uh, as a country, as a society, really, right? So now, maybe we can have a person, as, instead of a person who's the prime minister and is like this kind of, um, you know, regal guy and he goes around the world and, he's, and he speaks nice English and he's American educated, you know, where, where did he go? Uh, UPenn and MIT. We can just have a guy who knows the education system in Israel, who's both respected by the right wing, by settlers and Tel Aviv people, who comes in and says, okay, let's install little by little, tick tock, as we say in Israel, little by little programs in secular schools to get people back in or kids back into the mindset of why are we here in this land? Who are we as a nation? You know, instead of uh, after the army or after high school, picking up and going to Berlin, moving to Berlin and never wanting to come back to Israel again. Ladies and gentlemen, I mean, like, that's not to say that people who love Israel don't leave Israel for di different reasons, but, like, this is what's happening, ladies and gentlemen. And then people like myself, Americans, <laughs> you know, crazy Americans are getting up and leaving America and coming to Israel because, because, because we actually believe in it. And, um, you know, we actually have a reason to, like, spiritual and, and ideological reasons to be here. So that's, that's where we're at. And we need a person to come in and basically just, you know... Be what's called a steward, S-T-E-W-A-R-D, -S a steward prime minister to, to augment, to, to steer the education system in Israel, to steer, you know, to mend the, uh, the, the, the divides in Israeli, within Israeli society. Because again, it seems to me that Bibi in these past 10 years, he's only happy to let the media run amok and, you know, take religious people and run them through the mud and and then religious people go and then they are like oh these guys are showing him you know all the seculars are showing him and it's just like this divide meanwhile you see in israeli society organically 
people are trying to have like some unity, right? Religious and secular, you, you again, you can walk around Jerusalem, even Tel Aviv, people do interact, people do, um, you know, come in contact with each other, they get along, it's just like the media s stirs this up, and it's just like, you know, you see in America where you have a president like Trump, lo love him or hate him, but the guy, if he doesn't like something the, uh, you know, that the media is doing, he goes after them, and he says, I really don't like what you're doing, stop doing that, right? In his language, right? He goes after these people and he says, like, you guys are this, you guys are that, and whatever, and liars, and wh whatever it is, fake. And Bibi is just kind of like, you know, he does everything like, either he's not doing it, or he's just happy to, like, let it slide. Or he has friends, maybe he just has friends in these places, and he just doesn't want to inflame, you know, certain, uh, you know, some of his allegiances. I don't know what the reason is. I'm not going to go so far as to call him, like, Arab Rav or whatever it is, but... Whatever the reason is, he's just letting Israel, as he calls it, remain in the status quo, right? He's, let, he's letting us just remain in neutral, which is what we've essentially been since 1967.